Okay, hello, welcome back to the Land Rover Toolbox videos. Uh, in this video today, I'm going to show you a tool that I bought on Friday. Uh, it's a handy power probe. We'll just quickly go into it and I'll show you that this is a, a tool for uh, diagnostics. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm also going to show you the light bulb trick for um, how to diagnose a uh, short in the system. Well, short basically is when you're blowing fuses constantly. This video is sponsored by Brookwell's Parts and Accessories. Just remember they're helping us to help you to stay on the road. Okay, so we have a problem here with the uh, white rust magnet. The uh, main beam fuse keeps blowing when you turn the main beam on. Crack. There you go, there's a main beam fuse. Now, so we're sitting in the pub and we've got a fag packet and a pen and I'm going to explain to you about how to uh, check for a short, okay? Plus and minus, minus always goes to chassis. And the plus, this is gonna be very simple. I'm not gonna draw the whole lot. Basically, okay, we've got a fuse and we have a switch, okay? Switch symbol here. That will then go off to a consumer unit, and we're talking about a bulb here, okay? And then the bulb goes to earth. Very, very simple. Okay, so um, for instance, if uh, the fuse is blown without the switch um, being engaged, then it's between the fuse and the switch, okay? That'll be internal, trapped wire somewhere. If the fuse is blowing after the switch, when the switch has been engaged, then you have a uh, short to earth between the switch and the consumer unit or even the consumer unit itself. So what we do here, we actually install a, a bulb, okay, in the fuse, where the fuse should be, 55 watt bulb. And then what happens, the switch is shut and the, the uh, it will light up, basically because it's making a circuit right the way to earth, right? That's fairly safe. Once you've uh, found the short and broken the earth, the light goes out or goes very, very dim. and this is our test. That's easy enough, isn't it? So it's between the switch and the consumer unit or the consumer unit itself. If the earth is uh, bad, then the consumer unit uh, or the bulb, should I say, won't work. Okay, I hope you understand that. Now here is a slowed down version of a uh, fuse that's blowing. See that? Okay, this is when the lights were switched on. So we have a permanent um, uh, short to earth. So what I have here is a long length of twinkle, male fittings one end and female the other. Now the female fittings are for a light bulb, which is going to be our consumer unit. Okay, this is a fairly simple thing you can knock up. And if you have one of these bulbs, fine. If you don't, then use the headlight from the vehicle. Now we're looking for fuse four or fuse five, which is the main beam. And uh, that'll be up here on the Land Rover Discovery. Okay, obviously the circuit also goes through um, relays, but this is the main lighting um, fuse, okay, or the main circuit. This is before and after the lighting relay. This number four is blown. So what now I'm gonna do, I'm going to fit the male spade ends in. And this, you've gotta be careful of to make sure they don't touch, okay? You can put a bit of uh, black tape in there or something once they go in. Maxi fuses are okay, mini fuses are a bit different. If it has an electronic lighting um, control or an ECU for your lights, don't do this. This is only for the old wrecks like uh, this Discovery 1 and Discovery 2. You've got to be a little bit careful here. So what we have, we have our short to earth and the light is uh, bright. So as I say, I've got the uh, high beam on and now what I'm looking for, I'm doing wiggle tests to see if the light will go out. That means I can get close to the short. Now, straight away, I'm looking at terminals that have been corroded. And this possibly could be if somebody's wired in some lamps and then taken them out again. Uh, these uh, rotten bits here, they can cause trouble. Corrosion will actually grow when it gets wet it will uh, cause an arc, okay? The other thing, when you see wires like this together, and I've been caught out by this, they can also earth out, or they can rot together and complete a circuit, and then give you a short to earth. Okay, now looking at the battery, this has got twin core cable all over it. 
And there's no idea what it's for at the moment, but this is a potential candidate. If it's powering something that's going back to the lights, then that could be the source of our problem. Now, I'm uh, seeing this is quite loose. You've got, uh, I don't know what's earth, and I don't know really um, what's what, but I've just seen this one here as well. This is corroded, but not corroded together. If you find these have been uh, in water, they can corrode together and cause a contact. So if you have something like this, then splice them, take them away. Uh, another candidate is wiring that's been wrapped up in a loom. It can um, chafe together, cause a short and bare wires rubbing on the bodywork. This will cause intermittent shorts. And you can see those there, they really need to be covered up. This is why we have loom sheafing. The other one is uh, loom wiring that rubs on edges. This can wear through and then cause a short as well. And uh, this actually happens quite a lot. As you can see, there are a few sharp edges. This has armoring there. And there's a possibility there could be repair under there. And the repair has uh, shorted. More likely it will be an open circuit because you get more open circuits than you get short circuiting. It's uh, it's just one of those things that you'll find on an old vehicle. Sooner or later you're going to have problems. So this technique actually works. Now I'm looking very, very carefully and the light has not changed. It's not flickered. So I'll go down to the front lamp because that's where the lighting loom goes to. Remember this is exterior wiring. It's not in the cab. And uh, another thing you should be noting is if uh, anybody's done any welding. If the welding's melted the wires together, it could be a little while before it shorts out. Now, I've actually found something. The uh, light bulb has gone dim. And um, what it is, is a piece of wire that's been added to the high beam. You can see the brightness there. It was earthing out. And I've just touched it onto the earth of the uh, lamp cable connector. And I'll show you again. You can see where this has been cobbled in. And this is not one of my uh, butt connectors. And, uh, yeah, I'll just show you when I've opened this up. There's an earth in here. And uh, this is our cable, which is our main beam. Okay, so that would have been earthing out and causing us a problem. So, problem um, solved. Now, I'll just demonstrate this again, finding an earth. Got the light bulb there. That's fairly dim. And uh, connected to earth, it's bright. You see that? So that's one way of finding shorts. And that's not uh, SpongeBob's uh, SquarePants shorts, of course. It's shorts to earth. Okay, so this is a honey cart. It carries human effluent. It's actually full of water, and it's uh, about to be taken to an MOT. However, it has side markers that have gone out. This has sat in a workshop for about four hours, and uh, the wiring has dried out, and it's... Uh, create a fault okay well actually there's three side markers and uh, open circuits generally is uh, what happens when a wire breaks always look for uh, black um, tape or uh, rotten connectors now uh, I also look for commonality where wires uh, that are, have faults or lights that have faults where they go to and lo and behold I found um, this wire here which had two punctures in it vehicle came in, the lights were working, it dried out, and then it uh, created an open circuit. And this is something to watch for, especially in wet weather and when it dries out. Okay, so there's the fault. That was actually for uh, all three of those lights because this is a, a common uh, wire for the uh, left-hand side of the vehicle. Now, when I've finished, instead of using black tape, I use amalgam tape. And I'll just go in a bit closer there. You can see the amalgam tape is the, the one, the lump at the back there. That's a little bit more waterproof, and it's harder to get off. And I'm just getting my revenge for people who actually put black tape on. Now, lights are working, side markers are working, and they'll be good. The vehicle now can then go to an MOT test, which it did. And... Uh, the EBS failed as well because that also has a rotten uh, ECU in it. Um, yeah, my job, especially last week, we've had so many wiring faults because of the weather. Okay, um, what we see now, and this is with most vehicles, you have multi-plugs. Especially on the old trailers, they um, take the power to the lights and uh, the EBS systems from the front here. And these are Susie plugs, the lorry drivers know all this. Um, they go right the way to the back of the trailer via a uh, 17 or 20 pin plug, okay? And that's continuous to a fuse box. 
I've had to go out and buy myself another tool. Um, I've been wanting one of these for years, actually, and this is a power probe. You get extensions with it, with certain kits, and uh, this should lead to about 40 feet, and I'm not sure if it's actually good enough. And the test probe itself, this can put power down wires to check continuity. As you can see by this trailer, it's actually quite long. And the multi-plug at the back there, well, that's actually failed. That was what was rotten, uh, putting lights out on the rear of the trailer. And, uh, yeah, this is a, a valuable tool. I don't know why I didn't buy one earlier. However, it doesn't help you from getting wet. So, next job tomorrow, that's Monday, um, new um, loom to be fitted, okay? Mainly when lights go out, it's, uh, as I say, it's an open circuit, which means that the wires are broken or rotten somewhere. Right, this uh, power probe, it's a popular tool. This is version three, now uh, version four is available. It has to be powered by the vehicle's electrics, i.e. you have to clamp it to the battery. It has a 20 foot lead, and I'm pretty sure if you watch some of the videos uh, on YouTube about this, you'll uh, get a good idea of what it's about. But it is a brilliant piece of kit for working on Land Rovers. Obviously, you work on a Defender, you'll have your battery in the vehicle. The discovery is the battery is in, uh, in underneath the bonnet. So uh, you've got enough cable to work with. Now, one thing it does do, it powers components. Uh, it does a lot, but one thing it does do, as you can see here, I switch it on and it powers components like light bulbs, motors, wiper motors, heater motors. Anything that you need to um, check, maybe continuity, for instance. I have an extra lead here, and I'll probably need an extra one after that for my trailers. And, of course, it comes, depending on what kit you get, you get assorted leads. The Power Probe itself is about £130 for this kit. Um, they can be expensive, or you can get the basic one, which is cheaper. This is also a voltmeter. Right, so I'm just going to show you something here. Um, it's a light bulb. It could be anything. Um, you can, with this, just power something up. You can either provide a positive or you could provide a ground. Okay, so uh, I'm providing a positive here. Okay, so that will illuminate the bulb. No big deal, but it might be if you are stuck because you could actually uh, run this through the loom cable to see if you get power to somewhere. So you get where I'm coming from. Has lights on it, all whistles and bells and alarms and that. Uh, the main thing is it's a very handy tool for diagnostics. Now, one of those, and I've got this light illuminated now, it will tell you the uh, polarity of the wires. Okay, you know what they are here because they're coloured, but if they're not, and they're all the same colour, what you can do, you can see that red light there, that's positive, okay. That'll indicate that it's a positive side of the circuit. This one is a negative side of the circuit. And again, a negative side, the green light comes up. It's a bad contact there, the uh, contacts are in not very good condition. But basically, that tells you which polarity it is, which is really, really handy as well. You're also getting a voltage reading on this. Um, generally, you just need volts for um, diagnostics. It's very rare that you use, uh, need to read the amperage. Okay, again, it's a bad contact because it's dirty. But you can see the red light flashing. And the beeper will tell you what position it's in if you can't see the tool. Okay, so that's... Uh, and that's positive there so you get the idea what it's about there's a bit more to it but generally this is what i'm going to be using it for at work check out some of the youtube uh, videos on this tool and it is uh, i would say it's vital for uh, electrical diagnostics on your vehicle